<laughs> this is so funny. Hey guys, so I'm on here from my phone. I don't like to vlog with my phone, but that's what I have right now. I look an absolute hot mess. I'm actually just like excited for today because I left the house. I went and hung out with friends and family and some are actually coming over right now. And it just felt good because I haven't had the energy to leave the house in like forever it feels like. Like my leg has been bothering me, but today I woke up and it wasn't. I don't know, I just feel really good and I just kind of wanted to document that. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I don't, please don't mind like all the dog toys. I was just playing with Chubbs and Twinkie, but I wanted to show you guys what I just got from Amazon. <laughs> Rarity though. And listen to this. Literally ASMR. Um, you'll be able to tell when I bounce back and forth between quality because like currently... I'm using my phone and then sometimes I'll use my camera and you'll be able to tell the difference. So I'm sorry about that. And by the way, that's just markers. So don't mind. But I got this, the self love workbook. It's a life changing guide to boost self esteem, recognize your worth and find genuine happiness. There's interactive activities in it, reflection prompts and helpful advice. Like I really do have low self esteem and I feel like by loving yourself, you'll want to better yourself even more. So I'm just really excited for this. And this is how it looks on the inside. So there's lots of different just prompts and things for you to read. I don't know. This is very positive And I feel like that's something that I currently need in my life. Season 11 of RuPaul. Woo! Miley Cyrus is on this episode. My baby. Gotta get them side birds though. Don't mind me. I'm currently snuggling up to my unicorn blanket that Eric and Ricky got me for Christmas because it's cold in here. I had the window open for a little bit because we were all getting hot. Um, Hannah and Rafe came over earlier as well. I don't think I mentioned. We've hung out with them like three days in a row. It's all been just like crazy last few days. And I don't know, it's just been... I don't know, really good last few days, to be honest. I've just really needed to get out of the house and I've been doing that a bit more. But we were all getting like hot up in here. So I ended up opening this window and I literally could see my breath. It was so cold. Um, I can't see my breath anymore, thank God. Cause I ended up um, closing the window. But anyways, RuPaul is now over. I just want to say that was such a great episode. Miley was amazing, of course. And there's just so many queens this season that are like, yes, yes. Like, I have quite a few favorites already. I'm just really excited for this season. Sometimes it's the little things in life that could just make you happy. And it's for sure this show. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm sorry if you can't really understand me. Um... I have went to the dentist today. Do you want me to tell him, babe? Because I just realized you're so swollen. Yeah, I can barely talk about some guys in my Do mouth. Do you want right me now. to tell him? Yeah. Okay. Here Aww. you go. Here's me. So, yeah, Becky went to the dentist today. She was supposed to only get some fillings done. But while she was there, they're like, you know what? There's a tooth we can take out. It's like a root of a tooth. It was like a tooth that had broke off, like way in the back. I think it was a wisdom tooth. And uh, they took it out. So now she's like really numb and in a lot of pain. And oh, my poor baby. But they said once the numbness goes away, she might be in some pain. So they prescribed her some medicine. So that's good. Right now, you guys, among trying to make sure she's okay over there. Look at what Peter Mon just uploaded. Him and Trisha in the same video. He's at Trisha's house on Trisha's floor. What? How you doing, babe? It's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I'm hungry. I ate since yesterday. You should probably get some food. I don't want it to hurt. Oh. So we're at Walmart because 
I need to get a few things. It's um, actually a, a few days after my last clip. So, hello again. I love this color green. That is super pretty. Look at that. I actually have the maroon one. So, this is a bag on a belt. So, do they mean a fanny pack? So, one of the things that I got from Walmart is this really big storage. And I got this because... I have a lot of wax melts, as you can see, literally bulging out of this container basket type thing. So I'm going to put them in here in order of like spring, summery, and then like wintry fall down here. All right, so it is completed. So this drawer is the winter and fall scents. These ones are very autumn and leaves and things that smell like Christmas and Thanksgiving stuff like that like apple pumpkin pine and then this one is like summery springy has like foods that are more like lemon and raspberry which you can see on top cherry and just Smells that remind you of spring more so. This one is, I think, the fullest one. And that is just like, smells that you can smell all year round. Linen, cotton, just very common smells like that. So now that I have this all situated, this is gonna make life so much easier. Hey guys, so this vlog was not long at all and I know people prefer longer videos. I was gonna start this whole thing in a whole separate video, but I figured, hi, we'll start it here and start it now. So I want to do a hundred days of trying something without failure. Just give it a hundred. There's a website for that, which I'm not gonna be like part of, but if you do something for 100 days, you'll get better at it. You'll be more successful. Example, um, there's this girl who did a push-up every single day for 100 days. She couldn't really do one, and then at the end of it, she could do like 20. 100 days is just over three months, but if you do something every single day to try to better yourself, whether you wanna draw a picture and you wanna practice more or practice on a guitar, or for me, count calories. So annoying, I know, I'm so annoying, I love it. Okay, not really, I don't love it, but I want to, for 100 days, I want to weigh myself, I want to count calories, and I know perfection is not real. I don't even know why there's a such thing as that word, because there really isn't anything in this whole world that is perfect, just not how it works. So I'm not aiming per for perfection, but I am aiming for success and I'm aiming for triumph and I'm aiming for me to actually succeed in something. So every day I am going to talk to you guys a little bit about how I'm doing, maybe show what I ate, maybe do a cooking video or maybe do a eat healthy with me. I'm definitely gonna be showing you guys and telling you guys how much I weigh every single day. Not every day is gonna be its own video. It depends on how long the video is. Like say one day I could just be all kinds of filming and it could be over 20 minutes and that'll just be a separate video. But maybe there might be like five days in a row where I'm just doing little splices throughout the day which only turns out to be like 15 minutes. So I'll upload those five days into one video. Um, of course it'll all be consecutive so you don't have to worry about that but Every day, for sure, I want to at least tell you guys what I weigh and tell you guys kind of how I'm feeling and how well I'm doing. And yeah, I just feel like I need more of an accountability type thing. And I also really want to start uploading more. That is a priority that I am now taking within myself amongst weight loss and just bettering myself and finding self-love and just really taking care of myself more. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but I got this 100 more days of weight loss day by day journal. 
which that's perfect because this is a 100 day challenge that I wanna do. Every day there is kind of like a subject or a topic that I have to write about. And I thought maybe sometimes I can come on here and talk about a subject because why not? So today is day one, obviously, and the subject was just talking about people who inspire you, people who have also lost weight and kind of write about like how they were successful in that. So I chose three people. I chose Fat Girl Fed Up, I chose my friend Brit, and I chose Obese to Beast. All those three people inspire me because they all lost a lot of weight. Fat Girl Fed Up lost 312 pounds. My friend Brit has lost over 300 pounds. Pounds, and obese to beast I think has lost about 180 and they've all done it the same way calorie counting and I didn't realize that until after I was done writing down the three people because you have to say like how they've lost weight and I was like is that a coincidence I think not there are a lot of fad diets out there they're like keto is super popular like I'm not calling it fad diet but it's great it's making a lot of people lose a lot of weight but for me not sustainable or like low carb not sustainable like anything that is super restrictive for me is not sustainable just eating healthy allowing myself to have brown rice allowing myself to have a banana which both of those things are pretty high in carbs but allowing myself to have what the earth has grown for us is sustainable so i have a calorie limit and i'm going to be tracking on the app called lose it because on there every day or every time that you weigh in the calories lower which i love that because your body starts to get used to calories but for those of you who watch me strictly for weight loss i'm sure you're excited but those of you who watch me for other things like just my regular day or anything really don't worry there's still going to be those type of videos being uploaded i'm not just strictly going to upload these types of videos because i do have a few videos in mind that i want to film and get up for you guys so it's just going to be a mixture of things but i definitely do want to document these 100 days and i really hope i am successful i really really hope so so i know a lot of you are probably waiting for the weigh-in and it's quite unfortunate but i am at a new highest weight and every time that i have stepped on the scale i always expected a higher weight this time i didn't and i guess I am a taken aback a little bit, but that's okay. I can only get better from here. That's just the way I'm thinking. I am doing a lot of positive affirmations and I don't wanna be a pessimist. I just wanna be super positive. And I know that when you send out positive affirmations into the world, you'll get posit positivity back. So as you guys know, my highest weight from before was 560 and now it's 564. So I'm up four pounds from my highest weight from before and I just feel pretty freaking shitty about it. I cried about it and that's the first time I've cried about my weight, like from weighing myself in a very long time. It really hit deep and it just made me realize that I am only getting worse and I am the only person who can change this. So anyways, this is a long-winded clip, so I'm gonna end this video, and this was for day one, just kind of like an introduction. I'm actually about to go to the grocery store and just buy some, just some healthy foods so I can make myself some food because I still haven't ate today. I really wanna just see what works for me, and I feel like what works for me is waiting as long as possible after I wake up to eat. I'm talking like maybe four hours because I feel like when I have breakfast, that makes me binge. I don't know, it's weird, it's a thing, but you just have to find what works for you. So anyways, I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.